My name is John Aaron Davis, uh, auctioneer and part-time farmer, farming at Llwyner in Capel Isaac, uh, where we keep pedigree Texel sheep and a few limb cows. Uh, we started growing Typhon in 2006 as a uh, buffer feed for our flock of pedigree Texel sheep to produce ram lambs for the autumn sales and the breeding sales. Typhon is grown on two acre fields and uh, grazed from July to September by the sale ram lambs and sale females. When you started grazing sheep on Typhon, you started bolusing with the Animax boluses. Why was that? Because the sheep, having been grazed on Typhon and fed ad lib concentrates, certain lambs were developing uh, white muscle disease, which I understand is selenium deficiency, as a result of a, an imbalance of trace elements due to the oil seeds in the feed and the high levels of other trace elements within the crop. And did it do the job? Very much so, yeah. The boluses provided slow-release trace elements to the lambs over the period of the grazing. The incidence of trace element deficiencies within the lambs were minimised. And do the sheep respond well to the Typhon? Oh yeah, the Typhon is a, a tremendous food for the sheep. It provides them with uh, high energy levels and high growth rates. Tell me a little bit about the crop. It's a cross between a turnip and a kale, a crop that you can graze and will uh, re-establish itself to be grazed another two times. Would you bolus the sheep before they come onto the crop? Yeah, very much so, uh, so that the boluses are working even before they subject it to the crop and subject it to the high feed levels. Would you bolus once or twice a year? Uh, twice, once before coming onto the crop in May and then once again to provide another trace element boost in about the first week of August. How many years have you been growing the Typhon? Uh, this is the fifth year. And obviously the sheep are responding well to it and while you've got that safety net of the bolus, I guess, you know, it suits your system. Uh, very much so and the performance of the flock in sales since growing the crop has been well unprecedented. Based on the performance of the lambs at sales, the flock has broken its averages and top line returns in each of the four years since we started growing the crop. I'm John Davis. Um, I grow Typhon for my lambs. It's a, I consider a cheap source of protein. Also a good cover for new lays and um, don't intend not using Typhon. But I wouldn't dream of using Typhon without using the boluses because I need the selenium, cobalt and iodine to prevent any problems with fertility and to maximise growth. We bolus our Texel lambs, both ewe lambs and ram lambs, at weaning. Uh, by that time the rumen will have developed sufficiently to hold the boluses and there will be a constant supply of selenium, cobalt and iodine uh, on a daily basis from the boluses. What would happen if you didn't bolus the lambs? I'm confident that we wouldn't have the growth that we get because uh, some other breeders have, have asked me in the last two or three years, um, what have you done, your sheep are bigger. The only thing that we have done really uh, is use the boluses and of course there's some different red lines with the introduction of new rams and so on, uh, but people have made the comment that the sheep got bigger and I put some of that at least, at least down to Typhon and the boluses and I think they both go together.